Um, my video is going to be about um, Tupelo High School in Tupelo, Mississippi. I went there from um, 2000, 2001 all the way to 2005. I graduated in the year 2005. That's the year, that's the year when I graduated that, that year. So, um, I didn't have that many friends when I was going over there. The only friends that I had was none. You know, I had a few, like, um, but I ain't gonna say their name. I had a few, uh, Mexicans started taking over and stuff. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't have that many friends over there and stuff and, um, my, my my year at that high school was very horrible. Um, I didn't have many friends at all because I was real um I, I was I was an outcast over there. So I was hanging out with the wrong people over there and stuff and all of that. I wasn't hanging around with the wrong people but I was I was going to school getting A's and B's and stuff and all of that all of that stuff for that nature. Um, my, my high school year was not so good and wasn't good at all. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was hectic for me. You know, I couldn't find a, a girlfriend when I was down there. Uh, I was getting rejected by women and women over there at that high school, in Tupelo High School. So, it, it, it wasn't new to me at all when I was going over there. So, let's start with the video, um... Uh, why did I live uh Tupelo, Mississippi? Why did I live? The reason why I left was because the women over there didn't like me too well. I was trying to get my GED and stuff, and it didn't work out for me. So I was I was talking, I was trying to talk to these women over there, but it didn't work out too well because it was just, it was just stressful for me. It was just real stressful. I wish I was back in Tupelo, Mississippi. But it was it was just too stressful for me to live there, so that's why I had to move to other states like Florida. I lived in Florida for about a couple of years. I, I left Tupelo around year two thousand twelve, was because to get away from the lime life. You know, people over there were uh, getting on my nerve. They were they were they were mistreating me and stuff. You know, they was they was cussing me out. They they wouldn't help me at all. They wouldn't help me with my situation. The women was the, over there was going after the bad guys and stuff. If I want to say, I couldn't really find the Mexican women there. So the only Mexican women that I only talked to in Tupelo was the, I ain't going to say her name. You probably know about now. I already said it on my other videos. Her name was um was Rose Salia. That was my first one. I said it pretty my, pretty my other videos. Rose Salia. That, that was my first Mexican female that I would talk to. You we we were going through our off and ends and, and other stuff. We had to go our separate ways at the at the I graduated from Tupelo High School. So uh that's the that's the only reason that I left. Um I, I didn't see uh Rose live that much after that. So I was uh living I I was seeing other people. So the reason why I lived was because it was too much stress. I was being cursed out a lot. I was being mistreated a lot when I was living down there. Picked on a lot as well. Before they, while it was, I was in Clarksdale too. I was picked on a lot there. I, I I didn't have no help with my educational educational status. I did graduate from high school with a with a certificate of attendance, but it was taking me long to get my GED. It was taking me a lot longer. Than never. I was struggling a lot and, and stuff. I couldn't really go nowhere. The only place that you can go somewhere was at the mall at Burns Crossing. That was in that was on the north side of Tupelo where you had the, the eating places. You had uh, Applebee's, uh, Longhorn Steakhouse, uh, Logan's, um, etc. Old Charlie's. I can't forget Old Charlie's and etc. So you had Red Lobster and all the other stuff in the north side, on 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 Tupelo over there by the mall at Barnes Crossing. So that's why I left. You know, I couldn't find nothing to do. It wasn't really nothing to do up there. So it wasn't. It really wasn't nothing to do there. I still have some Mexican friends up there. I hope they do remember me. So 
my my life over there was horrible. Uh, I couldn't make any friends over there. The only friends I had that I went to high school with. So I was I was being misused. Like I like like I was living in Clarksdale, you know, I was being misused. Um, the black women didn't give me no um no no time of the day. The women over there in Tupelo didn't give me the time of the day. Uh, they always uh, give the thugs and the pretty boys the time of the day and stuff. The wanna be thugs and the and the hood and the wanna be hood rats the time of the day. I I said the the wanna be thugs the time of the day when I was living there. Um, the only person that really changed my life when I was living over there was Rosa Leo. You know, she changed my life. Uh, she was the only female from Mexico that changed my life. So when I was over there and it was too much going on. It was a lot of uh controversy and all of that. It was it was a, it was a lot of rednecks that there were prejudice in Tupelo. There's a lot of prejudiced people in Tupelo that you couldn't do. No black rappers couldn't come there. Uh the only people that you had back in the early two thousands you had Jahim and and all and Tony T- Tony Perry Tony Terry that came in the early two thousands two thousand one, and in two thousand two the same thing you had black you had black people coming down black black musicians that came down there but when it got about around after that it became prejudice no one couldn't really come around and all of that so you couldn't really see nobody in the Tupelo Miss Tupelo area so this video. It was too blow. It was it was fun, but it, it just it just the fact that there no women didn't give me the chance when I was living down there. The black women over there, uh, they were so stuck up and malminded. They didn't want me. They wanted the guy. They wanted to want to be thugs down there and stuff um, and all of that. Uh, the, the white women are even worse. You follow what I'm saying? They want the thugs too. They always they the, the white. Female, the white boy, they 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 want to be black. They want they trying to be black and stuff. I'm not talking about all white people in Tupelo. I'm talking about a, a majority of few. They trying to act like they black. They trying to listen to our same music. You know, the, 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 some of the white people they were racist too. You had a lot of racist rednecks that were down there. Not all, but some. That's why. That's the reason why I left. You know, it was so stressful for me. I wish I could go back down there. To live there, but I can't. It's because I'm living too far. I'm living in um in Texas now, where there's a whole lot of Mexicans and all of that stuff. They the Mexicans are treating me right over there. Um, like the ones in Tupelo didn't do. Um, I had I still got some Mexican friends in Tupelo. I still do. Um, I still have the only friends that I have in. In Tupelo, in Mexico, Mexican descent is Alberto Marine. Get a shout out to Alberto Marine. Uh, get a shout out to Aaron Lazonio. Um, get a shout out to uh Rose Alia Almanza. Get a shout out to her. She changed my life. So let's get to the topic. Let's get to the top of the video. Uh, it was just too much. Uh, nothing to do up there. You know, it wasn't no no convenient. I didn't have no help with my GED. It was just too convenient. It it it, it was too convenient. It was, that was a good thing, but it but it wasn't that much convenience. You know, a lot of females in Tupelo rejected me. They didn't want nothing to do with me and all of that. They want to go after these pretty boys. You follow what I'm saying? These thugs. That's what they want to go after. The guys that drink. Alcohol and stuff, and the, and the females in Tupelo are totally different. You follow what I'm saying? They were totally different than most other cities. They think they was better than everybody else. They didn't. They didn't. Uh, they didn't appreciate they that they slaver. You know, you know how Tupelo women, the, the females in Tupelo, are in a surrounding area. In 2014, Tupelo got hit with a storm. Back in 2014, it was hit with a storm. Um, you know, it was bad, but it was real bad. But they, they but they came back together. Um, found this video.
But that's why I left Tupelo, man, because I wasn't treated right there. Um, I wasn't uh, able to get get a, get a girlfriend there just like I did in Clarksdale. I didn't get a girlfriend there in Tupelo. It, 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 was, it was worthless. They think that I was a worthless human being up there. So, so but I really wasn't a, wasn't a person that they want to be around. I, I, played, for, I played for Tupelo Middle School. But did nobody get in Tupelo gave me the chance, so they didn't really gave me the chance when I was living there. So I didn't play as much at the middle school. You know, they think that I was I was I was a rookie. They didn't like me playing for that team a lot. Why the, why why did you uh, ask me that I want to play football then? And you knowing that you didn't let me play as much. You follow what I'm saying? That's why. That's why I didn't like about two blows. I, I I wasn't treated. I wasn't treated fair. You know, I was cursed out a lot when I was in high school. I was um mistreated. I was cursed out over there. Uh, I I wasn't treated right over there. So that's why I left. The females. Uh, I was I was going to school, dressing dressing in half naked and stuff. They used to um pick on me a lot. And all of that. That's why I left Tupelo. So to to, uh, to give freedom of, of space and time. So so I, I had. That's why. That's the reason why I left Tupelo all together. Because they they they, they the, the females over there didn't think I was on their level. It was just the same thing every day. Trying to struggle with the GED process. Now I got my high school diploma. So. The females didn't didn't appreciate the the offer that that I wanted. It. You follow what I'm saying? They didn't appreciate the offer that I wanted. It. So I was treated like crap there. Or uh, every time I try to talk to somebody, two blocks sponsor of these, they want to be thugs and stuff. I was trying to talk to them. They really didn't want me around them. So because I was a geek, I was a nerd part. I I was quiet and stuff. I got into a couple of fights when I was in high school, um, to my adult life. So I, I really wasn't wasn't a, wasn't a good person to them. I was a good person, but they they didn't give me the credit that I had to offer. So it was a lot of racist there. Um, it was just weird there. The people were very weird. So that's why I live. So. The Mexican women didn't want me over there, but that's why I left Tupelo, man. It was just too weird and odd for me. But this is Justin Williams. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and add me on Facebook. I'm out. Peace.